God bless you listeners. Again, we're here um, to try to deal with some of the questions that have been um, sent to us over our platforms. And one of the questions that came over is a difficult one to deal with because this person writes the question that I am a drummer in my local church. And also, I'm a drummer, uh, and well, he didn't name, but he's at different venues that are not Christian because he's a professional drummer, and this is his job. So how do I deal with this, or how should I deal with this? Am I right to go out and to seek gainful employment uh, in venues and play um, non-Christian music? This is a difficult question because, again, as Christians, we have to be in the world but not part of the world. This is a different question because music is a whole different dynamic in and of itself. Uh, music is a voice of the soul, so to speak. Uh, it, is, it, is, it is a language that the soul and the spirit reacts to, whether it's Christian or secular. Uh, secular people respond to secular music. Music can be a trigger to them. In the house of worship, mu music can be an encouragement. It is a joy that brings us strength. So this is a difficult question because as a pastor myself and a prophet, I have people under me that were in Las Vegas and they work at casinos. And casinos where people come to gamble. It's a place where people come and get hooked on gambling. It's a place where people lose their property because they gamble the way they're living and so on and so forth. And I make the statement to our people that, yes, you can work in casinos, uh, but we would prefer that you don't work front line in casinos, like dealing cards and working at uh, on the dice table or whatever. But I have people under me that work in um, computers in uh, casinos or in food science, and they work in the kitchen, and they prepare the foods and work in the restaurants and so on and so forth. Those things are allowable, but to be front line is different. The problem or the, uh, the dilemma that we have here is the fact that when you do play music, it can be front line. When you do play music, it can take you to certain venues that are, quote unquote, front line. Again, in the state of Nevada, if I can just use my illustration or my situation as illustration, prostitution is legal in Nevada. Is not legal per se in uh, Las Vegas in the city, but in the state, there are uh, houses of ill repute that are legal um, institution of profit, uh, financial profit. Uh, but I would never recommend any of my parishioners to go to work in a house of prostitution. And this is why this question is difficult is because um, uh, it needs to be considered about uh, the venue. It needs to be considered about how front line it is. It needs to be considered on how much does it impact people to be persuaded by the devil to follow them. So a difficult question with no clear cut answer because it is something that needs to be dealt with a local pastor to be determined exactly how that gift is due. Now I want to add another caveat. Music is also a gift of God that is a spiritual gift to be used in spiritual ways. It's not like a gift to understand computers or like a gift to prepare food or a gift to be a doctor. And when you're a doctor, you have to, you have to minister to all kinds of people. You don't even ask people about their religious affiliations. So it's, it is a different gifting to be a musician to actually play in venues that are not godly places. How front line are you? What is the actual venue and what is the impact? I know I'm answering it in a very general way because like other things in life, they need to be prayed over in order to be pacific. Hope this is a blessing to you. God bless. God bless you. We hope that this has been a blessing. We really endeavor to answer the questions so it can be a blessing to the body of Christ, whether it's general or Pacific. May this have been a blessing to you.